watched the how-to uh, video, but um, actual, like literal, actual precision, and that is in regard to flatness and the primitive technique on which it was based, the Whitworth free plate technique. I have a third plate over there. Like you need three plates really to do it, um, or three surfaces to, you know, so it's the free surface technique. Uh, and I have, uh, you know, if I was to, again, it's going to, now the mirror fit. There are some places I can see now, maybe the camera's not picking it up where I get the mirror um, reflection in there. But the point is not the mirror reflection, which of course is no really uh, biggie, but you know, again, if I especially, anyway, what's really cool about this is this is actual flat precision done by hand, just with sand and uh, water. And I'm not even cleaning it with alcohol, uh, like the, the professionals use a special type of cleanser. It's completely dry. You know, it's not like this is not gonna be a trick of oil. I'll post, uh, in the links, I'll drop some, sim uh, if you look up sur um, floating a granite surface plate, and these things are so, they're pr precise, and by precise I mean a couple of microns across the entire surface, not on one little spot. Um, on one little spot, they would be less, they would be actual flatness, not surface roughness indicator, but actually flat, uh, a micron, um, maybe less, maybe a little bit more, but across the entire surface, there, there's a few microns of difference in, in true flatness. And um, I'll take it to get properly measured at uh, Kemet Australia, but I actually, again, it, before you don't need this to do that. And how can you do it? How can you test it? Does it float? really a trippy, trippy, trippy feeling. It's, um, again, it, this is so flat, and in, uh, I mean, not lost high technology flatness, I mean actual real life flatness, that uh, these things float. It's, it's like gravity doesn't exist. It's uh, even bearings, it, you know, of, um, with some, even with some preci you know, precision bearings just to, the way it, 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 it floats, it's so, so weird. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll post the how-to video, but it's basically the Whitworth free plate technique based on an ancient polishing technique. And uh, there are a few spots where it will stick, but like where it is sticking, that's a good sign as well, that the surfaces are so perfectly mated that they, they're almost bonding. But uh, when you get, for the most part, these things, floating on air. Uh, and that actually might be one of, I, I have to check up on that, but it might be that these are so flat that they're cap capturing a cushion of air between them maybe. I don't, I don't understand the uh, science behind it, but this is one way to test uh, if you have a precision surface, precision flatness, no oil, no trick, just a very simple ancient technique of polishing. And there we have, oh God, this is trippy. This is really, really, this is fun. I could do this all night. I've been doing it for probably about 15 minutes before and I've already started to scratch the surface. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll calibrate that up. I wanna, get, uh, I wanna get it to the highest industry standard where it won't be uh, sticking at all. It will just float across the whole thing without any, um, any interference it's oh god this is this is so weird this is really cool this is fun but uh, yeah so Whitworth free plate technique uh, I'll post this from my phone but then I'll go back at the PC and and um, post some links of other examples because this is one of the uh, even to optical bonding when they do down to nanometer scale to uh, in high highest quality optics one of the ways that they test is that, uh, that the lenses float. <laughs> it's, it's granite, it's like, yeah, there's no gravity, it's just so weird. 
Anyway. Uh, so this would be, again, one way to... You could ultimately, like, claims of flatness in regards to precision uh, lost high technology. So the well, light would give it away, but uh, uh, just to put another uh, flat surface against it, and if it floats, it would be precision, but you can just see by the pitting and the bonding that they're not flat. Uh, this is this is done with sand and uh, sand and water, and just a, a bit of a rhythm to the polishing. I have to be careful it doesn't fly off the table. I've let it sort of already tip um, over, and it's that that will affect the surface. So originally, when I yeah, before I, when I first tested it, before I started filming and playing with it, oh, geez, this thing was just flying around. It was. Um, you could breathe on it and make it move. Like it really is weird. And again, no need to, for fancy machinery to test this. This is one of the ways you can do it. And take it for, for proper testing. I'll do optical testing of the uh, flatness of uh, smaller areas in the repeat meter. To, to, again, this is proving that this has got uh, across the whole surface. This is actually precision level flat. Not the highest standard, maybe at the start before I scratched it up and mucked around with it too much, but I'll get there. Um, a few minutes of polishing, um, grinding and lapping it down. It doesn't take a long, again, once you've, you've, you've started to get it right, it only takes a few minutes of uh, polishing to do this calibration work. And again, there are plenty of uh, videos on, on the industry and how they do these things and yeah, how they, it's still all done by hand.